All right, let's take a look at this one. It's got some overlapping triangles a bit. That's what makes this one kind of interesting. So <clears throat> one thing you'll notice, let me highlight like the 64, you see it, the 90, and then this little guy down in that corner. Those three angles add up to 180 together. So that's important. Because you can find uh, this angle, uh, this one right here, you can find that because you've got two, the 64 and the 90, you can find it. You can do the same thing with the other triangle as well. So the 48, the 82, and you can find that angle down there. So, <clears throat> likewise, this little blue angle here can be found if you take 180, subtract 82 and 48. Now the last step is if you know those two angles uh, to get x is the remaining angle in the tiny little triangle. So it's kind of a cool little problem. Not greatly difficult, but the first time on it might be a little challenging.